We are live from Fist Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Burns, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's plenty of smoke up here in the booth. We are in for a barn burner today. Oh, that's coming from the toilet to the men's room. They're on fire again. I'll tell you, this is not an aroma I'm fond of, Graham. Like Limp and Cheese fondue gone bad. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The insane Colts go up against the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. First and ten. Oh man, he really won. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And this guy, you like your defense. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. The 20. The 10. And he scores! Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for. You know what? Never mind. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Second down and six. And a hard run there. Picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Second down and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. And that'll bring him third down and seven. Caught for the first down. And it's 
First and ten. Rule changes are ruining the game, Trip. <laughs> and this is a first, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And that is a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Second down and long. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. <laughs> You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. Second down and two. And it's first and ten. One speed in game. What are you trying to impress you? Not fair base to bring And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Third and four. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back.
And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. He picks up nine yards on that catch. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He refuses to go down. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. And they call a one speed dirty trick. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile. Oh, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second and eight to go. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First.
first and ten. The receiver runs away from the pass marker. That there's a bloody red hat on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. Second down in a mile. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. You know what they say? Sometimes the team after the game. Second down and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. Third down and five. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Nicely done for a first down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron.
When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strategy show. Where are we going? Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights they need a good return here to set up the offense they're going to be able to return this one oh it just got eaten it reminds me that that song by the mutant men at work I'm sure those weren't the lyrics there, uh, Briggs. Pretty sure they weren't, man. The 
burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Seven yards on that run. Second and three. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Ouch! What is this? Annie's wrestling? First down and nine. He is rolling thunder and pouring paint, and the zap attack is on. And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and nine. Nice pickup for six yards. Yeah. 
Second and three. Wow! The quarterback just threw it. And it was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Oh, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called sit. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man! Dunya, was that you? Hey, blow me. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down, and the punter is warming up. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. G5 bum Stop him into the six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. With the brain scrambler. First down and five. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. 
The defender's one feet just kicked him. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting or dead. Third down and long. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. Even if you play a car, I die. I just told that story. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. The ball in the defense picking up seven. Third down and three. And he pulled out a chainsaw and now he's slicing and dicing his way through the goal. With kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. For me. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Third down and six. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for him. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. 
third down and nine. with the punishing hit. And defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. <laughs> he had it for a second there. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing's standing when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? You want dirt and some better dirt's time! Well, if you're into humiliation and scatological fetishes, this Burns loss was right up your alley. Well, that's a waste of an afternoon if you're a Leland fan. But if you're from Leland, uh, that's what everything feels like I score so after you. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Hey, yeah, man, I was going to spit on that one. You know what once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...